Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our home page. Follow me. I'll show you how to find your way around our course. In this course, you are one of 46 participants comprised of STEM faculty and faculty support experts from seven institutions, and we've organized this course to maximize your learning. Over the next six weeks, you'll engage in smaller group discussions with your peers, which will be supported by a lead facilitator. Now, to ensure that you always have access to the collective wisdom of our diverse group, we have included a Q&A discussion where you'll have direct access to all participants and facilitators. Use the Q&A discussion when you have a topic you want to get more input on or a general question about the course or, or your own teaching that you want a quick answer to. We've also provided you with access to a private institutional group so you can have meaningful small group conversations just with your institutional peers. Now let's take a look around the course. Each time you log in, we encourage you to start on our home page. It will change each week and point you to the current module. You'll also find a few other helpful items here. At the top, you'll find our most recent announcement. Check there each time to be sure you're up to date. Over on the right side of the home page, you'll find a to-do list, which is a quick way to reference upcoming activity due dates. One of my favorite features is the course calendar that you can access right here at the top. The course calendar shows when the activities are due in calendar view. To navigate back to the home page, use the back button in your browser. Under the to-do list, you'll also find a direct link to your institutional group. You can also get to that same group from any page in the course by clicking on the Groups button in the far left course navigation menu. The home page also provides you with a link out to a handy course stream, which is like a feed of all recent activity, and a quick link to your course notifications. You can customize your notifications in the account area accessed in the upper left corner, which is where you can also upload a profile picture to humanize your Canvas profile. Okay, that's an overview of the home page. Now we'll show you how to get started with week one. For week one, you will complete two modules, Getting Started and Module 1. From the home page, select the Start button. This takes you out to the first page in our Getting Started module. Read the page and then at the bottom right, select Next to navigate to the next page in the module, like an ebook. You also have the option to select Modules in the Course Navigation menu for a bird's eye view of the modules. Select the module's title bar to close or expand the list of pages. In each one of our modules, you'll see a section for learning content and learning activities. Each of the activities will be designated with a sparkle icon or a toolbox icon to help you track your work in each module. In the Getting Started module, you'll notice that there's a requirement to complete one item. You will need to earn six out of six points on the Getting Started quiz to complete this requirement. You can take that quiz as many times as you like, by the way. Once you do that, it will unlock Module 1 for you. This empty circle over here on the right tells me that I haven't yet completed that requirement. Once the requirement is completed, a green check mark appears and Module 1 unlocks. We hope you have a very successful first week in our class. If you have any questions along the way, you have a couple of options. You can select Discussions in the Course Navigation menu and post a question in our Q&A discussion, which is available to everyone in the class. Or you can send a direct message to your lead facilitator using the inbox in the far left Global Navigation menu. See you soon.